The, uh... Did you just refresh the cam? Oh, oh yeah, it's right. Catches the recovery with the Thunder. Well, it's had to go all the way down there for the edge guard. Not quite. Pikachu notoriously good off stage, so it'll be interesting to see if Tuna's going to be able to take advantage of the nest recovery. Oh! Sometimes you get clipped, and that's that. You got to be really careful about getting hit by PK Thunder 2 there. This may do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, two stocks apiece. Oh, the Nair loops. Now we're playing ultimate. Wow. How long will it go? Oh my gosh. 87%. And the Thunderbolts. That's at a zero to death. Second stock. Tuna popping off here. He's saying he doesn't care if it's a bad matchup. That's quick finding it a little difficult to get in under all these thunder jolts <clears throat> without getting clipped and hit into an opener. But finds an opening, gets a PK fire. Oh no. But Pikachu's recovery is so good, able to come back anyway. Wow. And then air loop start, but falls out this time. Doesn't get the jump read, but. see Tuna here just fishing for a lot of these <clears throat> gar up airs, trying to get a good starter. Oh, and caught coming off the ledge. One stock apiece here. Oh, man. Okay. Air dodges out. Gets a reversal. Two up airs. And anything else? No, that's it. So now... That's quick, slowly crawling back. Another up there, just another chance. Not quite. Oh. Oh, getting a little antsy for the kill. This point is dangerous for both players. Oh, not enough to kill. <clears throat> Is this going to be it? Wow, yeah. Game two, we'll see if they make the adjustments they need to make on small battlefield. Interesting choice. Hey, 
Catches him dashing back with the Thunder Jolt into another conversion. Does he get it? Any offstage conversion? No, not quite. The Ness <clears throat> able to sneak back in. So expected to run in, but Ness Quick was a little patient this time. Oh, that's tough. Tough conversion there. Ah, catches the drift in, but not enough to kill, even at 123. Very surprising to see. <laughs> Nesquik tried to be a little cheeky, get a, a low percent gimp, but not quite for, against Pikachu. This time to parry there and just struggling to get the kill. Oh, oh reliable. At enough high percent, <laughs> up there's gonna kill. So, with the way that Tune has been playing, seems like he, the nickel and dime approach has been working pretty well. Get the get the percents, get the conversions. Um, don't do anything too risky, and then. Capitalize big when you can. Nice out of shield options by Nesquik over here. Knowing that that uh, not all Pika's moves are safe on shield if they're not space dragon. Oh wow. Tuna's starting to fish out the, uh, the air dodge there. That drag down forward air, always tricky, especially for Pikachu at the edge of the stage. This is the conversion. Again, this is the conversion. But the dash attack is going to be enough. Now our last stock, game two. Will Nesquik be able to bring it to a game three? Or are we going to see Tuna take it 2 0? Oh, winner round one here for, for Esports for uh, Hame House Monthly. I've been playing a lot with Tuna over the last uh, year or so. Can definitely tell a lot of improvement. This is... Oh, reads the get up, the get up option. And the momentum is in Tuna's court here. Hits the first forward tilt. Oh, another forward tilt. Oh. Back to neutral. Good recovery. Now again, Nesquik is off stage. And air dodges. That's gonna be it. 2-0 for Tuna.